Hello, hello everybody, welcome. This is Divine Empress 71. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, so um, what I have on the board is overall energy. I have moving on, thank you, next, and grudge holder. We have the strength card, which is Leo energy, and then we have eight of pentacles in, in reverse. Strength is also in reverse. Uh, so eight of pentacles, that's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, so either, huh, so you may have moved on from one of these signs, uh, collective, um, but they could be holding a grudge towards you. Because you have moved on. Mm. Uh, this person could have been arrogant. Um, somebody who was petty, maybe. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. It could be it could be family as well. You know, um, friends, so-called friends that you may have moved on from. Um, mm. Whoever this person is. Um, you may see this person as somebody who's lazy. Um, they don't necessarily have to be lazy in work, but they can be lazy uh, as in, you know, uh, being lazy when it comes to relationships as well. You, you know, like, um, doing their part in, you know, in the relationship, but this is somebody who's, um, Maybe in, you know, they may be blocking themselves from certain opportunities because of their laziness. Uh, they may be somebody who might do things, um, they might do things half-hearted. You know, they don't really put their all into it. Uh, kind of like a one foot in, one foot out uh, kind of situation as well. Um, uh, they're not really... Um, focused on that, you know, or maybe they was not at the time when you were in, uh, in a relationship with this person. Uh, you know, they could be somebody who not, may not be very ambitious at all. You know, um, they could have a talent, uh, something that they good at, that they could actually be making money off of. You may have told this person that. You know, that it is something that they have a talent in, that they're good at. And you told them, hey, you know, you could be making money off of that. You could be, you know, uh, you know, having a business or whatever. But they really don't have no mind to do that because they don't really, they because they're lazy. They don't have a, uh, they have a lack mindset. Yeah, they have a lack mindset when it comes to that. So you may have said that to them many times, but. It could have fallen on deaf ears with this person, whoever this person was. So, yeah. So, let's get some more tarot and see what else comes out. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. Uh -huh. So, we got the Seven of Wands here. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Energy. Uh, you may have set boundaries with this person. Um. Mm. Uh, yeah, you may not be, so uh, I know that you're not dealing with this person because you moved on from them, but you also may be somewhat defensive with this person or um, maybe, a, and then as well, you may have been trying to persevere, uh, you know, in the process of cutting this person off, you know, um, hmm. Yeah, so this is all about standing your ground, speaking your mind, you know, letting the person know, you know, what's up. Some of you could be uh, working in the in the public setting, like teach school, maybe. Um, uh, some of you could be a public speaker, or maybe you could be, um, you may have a platform where you speak. You know, you speak to people. Yeah. Hmm. 
Let's see what else here. Nine of Cups. Hmm. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Five of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, yeah, so you left somebody out in the cold, though. Uh -huh. uh -uh -uh. But see, but they know you, whoever this person that you cut off uh, collective, they know you uh, to be um, a very uh, generous person. Um... You're very, um, you know, you may have some pride, but you're not like prideful, prideful, you know, for some of y'all. Uh, you could be, you could be very abundant, doing well financially as well, but somebody sees you as happiness, comfort, you know, peace, uh, you know, <laughs> and uh, you are very blessed. Some of you right now may be, um, in the season right now where you are counting your blessings. And some of you are very humble uh, with what you have as well. Um, you are thankful with what you have because you know where your blessings come from. And that's good. Yeah, they, yeah, they do see you as um, nine of cups. They, uh, these qualities that I just named off about you, this person knows that about you. Mm hmm That you are a very good person. You're a good-hearted person. But you left this person out in the cold, though. Mm-hmm. You left this person out in the cold. This person could be uh, having some financial problems. They, This person could be very um, materialistic as well. Um, they, This is somebody, uh, they like to... Whoever this person was, they like to focus on uh, money and material things too much. They don't too much, uh, you know. They don't too much care about, you know, anything dealing with the with with the heart or uh, emotions or feelings. I don't think this person. They don't. They don't. Um, this is somebody that really don't roll like that. But. They mad at you for leave for uh, leaving their ass out in the cold though. Whoever this is. <laughs> Let's see, what else? What else for the collective? Holy Spirit. Alright. Tower. Mmm. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, so this you um caused a tower moment with this person. Now for some of for for some of them, you could have did this unexpectedly with this person. It could have came out of nowhere. Hmm. You told this person what time it was too. You told them about themselves before you um before you close this out. Hmm. Y'all could have, uh, you could have had a, um, like a real heated argument with this person. Mm-hmm. And stood your ground with them, told them what was on your mind, and cut their ass off and left them outside in the cold. Mm-hmm. And I and this person, they still think about that. <laughs> they do. They still think about what you said to them when you cut them off. Mm -hmm. They still think about that. We got temperance in reverse. Sagittarius energy. In, and then we got the emperor. Aries. So... So somebody is, huh? Uh, this this person could be very frustrated because of uh, the fact that you cut them off. Uh, mm-hmm. You no longer saw this person. If this was a relationship, you no longer saw this person as long-term investment either. Like you didn't. 
Mm-mm. And then again, they could have saw you the same way. You know, could have been this emperor or somebody, you know, who who is a uh, an authority figure, you know, a leader, you know, this could be an older man, doesn't necessarily have to be, but this is somebody who's grounded, they stable, they financially stable, um, but I do believe that they are experiencing some karma due to, due to their money. It's something, or something going on with their money though, I know that, mm -hmm. and they mad, they pissed off at you, because this is somebody who likes control too. You know, the emperor is usually, you know, um, they usually have that vibe of my way or the highway, you know, kind of person. So, uh -huh. I'm hearing they couldn't control you. Uh -huh. They couldn't control you. They, they, yeah, they, see, this, this person, they don't, like I said, they don't operate with feelings. They don't do that. This is, you know, mm -mm. they don't operate like that. This, this is somebody who operates off of straight logic. And they really care about money. So if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. This is the kind of vibe. This is, this is how this person rolls. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, page of Cups in reverse. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, they could be. Uh, well, uh, they are in their feelings. That, that's. I, I mean, you know. Um. This is somebody who, and this, you know, even though this, this is, a, this is an adult. It could be an adult male or female, and let's just say, even if he, he's an older guy. Um. This person is got they they have some immature ways. You may be, cause there there could be an age difference here as well between you and this person, uh, for some of you, but you come off as more uh, mature than this person, especially when it comes to the emotions. You a little bit more balanced and stable versus this person. This person likes to manipulate in order to gain control or to stay in control. Mm -hmm. This person here, they carry themselves as an as a emperor in the upright, but I'm strongly sensing that they, um, they do have, they may be, there's a part of them that operates in the imp like the uh, emperor in reverse as well. Uh huh. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, cause they do like dominance and control. Let's see what else? Three of Pentacles. I don't know. Uh, they do see you as fulfillment, though. But they, mm, I kind of wonder. See, now see, they, uh, now see, they see you as somebody that they could build with after all. That they could have, you know what I'm saying? They they recognize you as, you know, that this is somebody that I could have possibly, uh, you know, could have could have had something with, you know, um, you know, like a team, uh, a partnership, you know. Now they see that. Now they see that, you know, after you done moved on. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, it's like, so now it's like, okay, collectively it's somebody that I could have actually built with. I, I, I could have actually grown with. I could have actually had something with this person. Yeah, well, maybe so. But it's too late now. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Star. And, uh, yeah, and Eight of Wands. And that came out in reverse. Yeah, so, huh, uh, so we still dealing with fire energy. If this person is wanting to message you in any kind of way, mm -mm, it's being delayed. Mm -hmm. they, they may have had to move. Like move out of a home or give up a house. And that could have been due to uh, financial uh, issues as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but see, but you but you doing all right. Whatever this difficult phase was with this person, you persevered and moved on from it. I mean, you healed from it too. Mm-hmm. That's why... You know, you are looking looking out, you know, um, into, you know, looking at better prospects, whatever that might be for you. Because this, this change that you made by moving on from this person uh, brought about healing. Brought about healing. And, you know, because the changes that you made were for the better, they were positive. Yeah. Hmm. So if this person thought that you wasn't gonna never heal and move and you know and move on from them, they were wrong. Mm-hmm. Because for some of them they thought they thought that you never would. Mm-hmm. They thought that you never would. What else, please? The hangman, Pisces. Yeah, see, now they've been in this uh, hangman energy. Probably done had some time to think about some things, spending some time alone. Now they, they see, like I said, they got a whole different viewpoint of you. What they didn't see what they didn't see about you back back then when they had you, see, they see it now. They do. They see it now. Mm-hmm. I believe that for some of them, they didn't think that, that you would get to be where you are right now, wherever, whatever that might be for you, especially financially. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 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 And this is somebody who they don't let go of nothing. Like this grudge right here. Yeah, they still holding on to that though. Mm-hmm. And that's why uh, uh, a spirit is delaying them from communicating with you too. Mm-hmm. Because they are still, they still got to purge and release some stuff. They ain't did it yet. Hmm. Yeah, they they still stuck too. Mm-hmm. Stuck like stuck in the past, still holding on to what happened. Could be still holding on to you, at least trying to. Seven of Swords, yeah. Yeah, you, you saw this person as sneaky. They, and they did, and they they caused some sort of betrayal uh, for, you know, for you to move on from them. Mm-hmm. And this is somebody that always try to, they might be the kind of person to try to one-up you. 
you know, they always try to one-up you. Uh, they think they're smarter. They may think they're better for some. Yeah, but they're always trying to outsmart. Mm-hmm. Whatever they thought they were getting away with, you found out about it. Some kind of way. And then we got the uh, Page of Swords here. That's in reverse as well. Mm-hmm. They are mentally just like restless. This is somebody who they are. They like to. They don't. They don't make promises. You know. They don't keep their word. They are all talk with no action. They. You know. Uh, mm -mm. Uh, yeah. This is this is somebody who who don't. You know. Uh, they all talk and no walk. Mm. Yeah. I mean, this is somebody that, I mean, you know, they, they, this is, this is a know-it-all, you know, they, <laughs> Lord have mercy. They don't like to be told when they wrong. They don't, they, they don't like, and don't like to be corrected either. And they make a lot of promises and, and that they can't keep and they lie a lot. Sneaky, manipulative person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they mad at you though. Yeah, and then we got uh the ace of uh pentacles, more earth energy here. And this uh with this page of swords, that's Gemini Libra Aquarius. But um I'm telling you, this person there has been a setback in their income. Mm-hmm. Yep. They had an opportunity to be with you or to have something with you, some kind of partnership, but they wasted the opportunity to do so. They did. Yeah. They, uh, yeah, they fumbled the opportunity. Yeah. Because God was trying to hand it to them. God was trying to hand it to them. Mm-mm. But they, but they, but they played with it. They didn't take the opportunity seriously, like it was a joke. Until it was, until the divine removed it, removed you, gave you what you needed for you to do this right here. Move on. See what I'm saying? So now they in their feelings about it. Mm. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pull some more. What's the tea? Let's see here. And then we'll get ready to wrap this up. Okay, so it was a romantic love affair for some of y'all. Mm-hmm. But, uh, see, this person saw you, for some of you, they, they, they saw you mainly as, you know, uh, booty call, you know, uh, a F buddy. You know, this was more sexual than anything. But see, you was, you, but see, they refused to see that you had more than that to offer. You had more than just booty or some hammer. You know, that's what I call the male part. You had more than that to offer this person. You had more than that. It was, there was more to you than just sex. See what I'm saying? But this person, mm-mm, mm-mm. No, they played games with this, with this opportunity. They had the opportunity to, to have it, to, to, 
to be blessed. The opportunity to be blessed. And they fumbled it. What God was trying to give them, they didn't want it. They played with it. Mm. See, now you over there making it rain, focusing on your money, <laughs> you know, and your season of blessing. Yeah, this person might be running their mouth about you too because they holding the grudge. Because like I said before, this is somebody who lies. And they could have made some shit up about you. They could have. Because they mad because you moved on and left their ass out and go. You see? Yeah. And they could be making some shit up. <laughs> yep, there we go. Come through, spirit. Talking shit. Yeah, they talking shit about you. Why they over there receiving that bad ass karma that they getting over there? Cause they money funny. Yeah, they money funny. Mm. And they and and they in their feelings because you are no longer interested in their ass. Uninterested. Moving on. Next, please. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, excuse me. I'm sitting on some tea. Mm -hmm. And they might be creeping too. I, I, you know, trying to watch you. They really want to message you. Um, but as I told you over here, uh, um, their communication is delayed. And I believe that that's divinely done by spirit. Uh, they are delayed from trying to come towards you. That's why they watch. And they, you know, and they run their mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, I told you because you are unbothered. You just y'all just straight up don't want this person no more. Y'all don't. Y'all y'all don't want this person. You know what I'm saying? With that big ass ego. You know what I'm saying? They got ego issues. You know what I'm saying? But you may have hurt their e ego because of the fact that you are unbothered. They know that now, you know, they sitting in this hangman energy over here. They know that they that uh they let their ego get in the way. Yeah. And wasted an opportunity on a blessing. On a blessing. Yep. Hmm. All right, let's see here. Mm hmm Yeah, you could have been dealing with a runner. This is somebody who ran from the, may have ran from the connection. You know, um, because deep down, uh, what you wanted from the connection, they couldn't, they couldn't deliver. Nor they wasn't, nor they wasn't trying to. Yeah, now you're running. You're running from them, ducking and dodging them, <laughs> and uninterested, and un and and you are unbothered. And the reason why you are unbothered because you are uninterested. Now they got, uh, they over there dreaming and fantasizing, creeping, watching, yeah. And see, and then we got thief up here again. We got thief here again. Seven of, seven of Swords, Thief, that's confirmation. Yeah, like I said, this person wasted your time. Mm-hmm, yeah. They, they, they could have stole from you uh, physically, emotionally, and for some of you, financially as well. They could have. Hmm. Yeah, and you could have saw this person as, as messy, too. They love to start a lot of shit, drama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and with moving then here, you definitely moved on from this person. Some of you could have physically moved as well. You are no longer, uh, you may not even be reachable to this person. Some of you got this person blocked. 
some of you, this person, if you have moved, they don't know where you moved to. They don't know where you live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they are blocked from coming towards you with this offer. They do want to come towards you with some sort of offer, but they are being blocked. They are delayed. They can't do it. They can't do it. And, you know, <laughs> but like I said, they, they may be trying to ignore you because you are ignoring them. But because you are un, but but because you are ignoring them, you are uninterested, and you know you just not going to be bothered with their ass, with their game plan, self. See, I don't know. It's it's just it's just really got this person all up in their feelings. Mm -mm. Yeah, because see, you you saw this person as somebody who who was, you know. They wasn't shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Behind closed doors, though, they could have cried in their feelings. They could have. They could have. Hmm. Wow. Yep. Yeah. And, and uh, for some of them, this person wasn't faithful either. They could have had you in the third party as well. Um, could have been somebody that was sleeping around. Yeah. But like I said, because you are you you have healed, you are unfazed about this at all. As I said when I was telling you about this emperor uh may may operate as an emperor in reverse to a certain extent. Yeah, because they could be a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. I believe that this is somebody who's who's not who they say they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this person could have been a karmic uh, to you as well, because, uh, like I said, because they had, they had, they had toxic ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had toxic ways. Hmm. Wow. Uh. Yeah, this last card right here. The reason why they're watching so hard, cause they want you back. They do. They want you back. That's what this is all about. They, now that, you, after you left, after you pulled back your energy and you decided to take the time out to heal and, um, you know, and grow from this experience, um, now it's like, okay, now, you know, with this, uh, nine of cups being here, um, they now with being in this hangman energy, they done had some time to kind of you know put things in perspective, and and truly see you for who you really were, and you know and for what you was truly trying to bring to them. But like I said, they was too busy trying to manipulate and control and lie and whatever else. And do whatever else they had going on. And so they wasted their chance. Bottom line. They wasted their chance. To have some sort of partnership with you. You know. So it is what it is. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to get let me get a card from Spirit. And then we'll close out y'all. Hmm. You snooze your lose. All right, let's see. All right, there. Give us a message for the collective. Don't place limits up on yourself. You are, in, you are an infinite being with unlimited potential. You can have and be anything you want. Don't hold yourself back or allow anyone else to. This is your life. Live your truth and remain heart-centered at all times. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like this one. Yeah. Don't, uh, don't limit yourself. Based on what somebody else think of you either. Now that's coming from me. Don't hold yourself back. 
collective because somebody um, is hating and they want to tell you, no, you can't do that. No, you can't have that. What makes you think you smart enough to do such and such and such and such? Yeah. Mm -mm. Forget them. Forget what they're talking about. If it's something you want to do in this life, go for it. That's right. Um, because your potential is unlimited. And you can be anything in this world. You can have anything in this world. But just don't hold yourself back or allow anybody else to stand in your way or hold you back as well. Yeah, be true to yourself, collective. Yeah, and remain heart-centered at all times. That's a good message. Well, that's all I have for this uh, reading, you guys. I pray and hope that it was a blessing for you. Um, if so, you know, give me a comment. And I appreciate the support, you guys. Um, and I um, I haven't read the comments lately. But I, I, but I do want to uh, thank you guys for those of you who sent uh, super chats the other day. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. You just don't know how much that means to me. Um, so I'm going to end it here, um, and I will talk with you guys again real soon. You have a blessed evening, and bye-bye.